I got some porn hub to watch. Get off the road. Let's go, Barry. Go. Start it. We're on fire. We are on fire. Hey, you want some ice cream? I'm a lizard boy. I'm a lot lizard again. Welcome, hoarders. They're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. Um, this episode, we're finishing the um, Japanese-only uh, race series that we started a while ago. Um, I picked <laughs> a car. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it is under this. Um, the All Japan, the All Japan GT Car Championship. We have three races left, I believe. Um, yes. And I don't think I like any of these tracks, to be completely honest. And they're all 10 lap. Um, so they're probably not going to be fun. Now, I made this car. Um, I don't know if you could tell by the little icon picture. Um, it's an embodiment of my feelings. <laughs> this is easily the silliest car I've ever made on here. Um, I went looking for the logos in the game, and they don't have them anymore. Um, at one point, I guess they had them, and then they were like, Hey, you can't use these. Um, but I made my own. And I looked up reference pictures and everything. And that was... Uh, <laughs> it's the Pornhub car. <laughs> <sighs> This is great. I love it. Every part of the car that you can put Pornhub on, I did. So here we are. I do... This uh, Lexus actually is pretty good, to be completely honest. Um, just, I really didn't test it much. I did win a couple races, though. Or, not one, but I finished a couple online races with other people. And I was surprised no one mentioned anything. Um, but most of the people that were in there were Spanish, so they, they could have said something and I wouldn't have known. Come on, move. Because I was just thinking, I'm like, what's... Th they say red makes your car go faster. But what about Pornhub? Oh, I should have put like a big buffering thing somewhere on this. That'd be cool. I don't know. I just thought what would be something stupid... And, of course, it would be me driving, not the car itself. And it's going to take 42 and a half minutes to get back on the track. And I'm going to get hit and get knocked back off the track. But there's so many laps on this race that it won't be hard to get back up to there. It really is, especially this early in the race. Like, anything over three laps is too long for me. Just being completely real about it. Um, Sunday, well, yesterday at this point, um, as far as when the video is going to be coming out, I finished the Mafia series. I really, really enjoyed that game. After the fact that I got up to where I was originally on console. But console, really, that game, if you have it on console, it's unplayable. It really is. Um, you need it for PC, which it was originally made for PC and then later adapted to console, which I think is part of the reason why the console sucks so much when you uh, try to play it on there. It's mostly, I'd say that driving on console is better, but the, um, the shooting on PC is far better. Like, way, way better. Got away. Um... And soon, I should get the, um, the adapter I need for my truck, um, so I can hook on my new exhaust. Right now, my exhaust is kind of hanging there, because I started taking, um, exhaust clamps off, because I was like, well, I'm gonna just do all this stuff, and then I was like, oh, the muffler input is a different size than what, um than what I thought it was because I was I was looking up things and all that and it turns out the exhaust that is on my truck currently isn't factory so 
there's that. Um, I should have known that something was up when I had a two and a half inch um, exhaust pipe. Um, but they, I guess some of those do come on stock. But when I got underneath, I was like, oh, here we go. And I couldn't, um, this is weird. Mine was partially welded, partially clamped. Um, so what I did was I bought the intermediate exhaust pipe that connects to my, um, that connects to my cat. So that way I could unhook it at the cat, put a new pipe from the cat back, pretty much. Um, not really though. It's just, it's just the new intermediate and the new exhaust, uh, or the new muffler. The exhaust pipe's just fine, so I'm going to leave that. Um, and then I'm going to get a new tip for it. Or I'm going to get a tip for it. Because it's just a... Sh I don't want to say straight pipe because it's not straight piped. Um, it's just the bare exhaust pipe. Dude, I'm driving terrible right now. This is what happens when I talk. If I talk, I drive like shit. And if I just listen to music, I'm good. That's the only frustrating part. You, like, you guys at home, try try doing some racing games and don't actually focus on the racing part. <laughs> Move, asshole. I got some Pornhub to watch. Get off the road. If that's not at the beginning of my video, I'm going to be upset. Even though that's me who edits. <laughs> Oh, and recently, like, I'm still, I am absolutely surprised that my channel's, like, it's taking off a bit. And I'm surprised. Like, I got over 350 subs as of this year. Like, just seven months, I've gotten way more than what I've gotten any year before. Like, I'm almost... Wait, I am already doubled what I got last year. Um, but I'm, I think we're going to easily triple it. It's just fucking nutty. I was like, I've been doing this for like five, almost six years. Um, not consistently. I've been doing it consistently probably for two and a half years. I don't know. While also currently having two jobs... Luckily, my second job hasn't been as demanding recently. Um, mostly because we get to pick our schedule around our... Um, like, me and my friend both work at the same... Ooh, the same two places. Um, and the first place I consider, like, an actual job. And then the second one is also a job, but we get to make our own hours. And since we both work at the same places, we have the same schedules. So... It's like, if something needs done, we're told about it, and then we'll do it. But it's, it's like, you guys know, I work at the cemetery. The cemetery is the job that, as of right now, has been, like, not very busy. Not, need, we need more people dying. <laughs> no, that's, that's fucked. Um, really, like, that's the thing that... I think is weird about the COVID thing is everyone's saying everyone's dying. I'm not saying they aren't, but uh, we've buried two people and they were both like at the, like before COVID was announced or like right as it was announced. And that was it. Um, dude. Okay. Now my first job is at a Goodwill. I've got to tell you this story, and it's fucking crazy. I, I've i been there for a couple months now, and it, it's basically I'm a processor. All I do is put clothes on a rack, and that's it. Um, I do that for five hours a day. You have to put out 400 pair of clothes. Anyone else who does it knows that it fucking sucks. Anywho, I like the people, though. That's That's the only upside is that I keep coming off this area um, every time I go around the turn. Anywho, I like the people. It's just the work itself sucks because the situation that, like, you're put in, they're like, hey, 
You're supposed to only be here five hours, but you have four. You have to get 400 pair of clothes out of these 99% garbage clothes. Have fun. Um, as I said, anyone else who's a processor at a Goodwill completely understands my pain. But um, that being said, um, I have another guy. I'm not going to give out names and stuff who processes what we call wares. And wares uh, processors process, like, uh, everything but clothes, basically. Uh, everything but clothes, purses, and shoes. Um, there's another person who does just purses and shoes. Um, but me and my friend do just clothes. Well, the guy who uh, was doing wares... Um, was like, hey, can you help me move this desk out or take this desk out and put it in this person's car? They just bought it. And I was like, okay. So he brought it in the back room. We took it out the back door uh, where they could pull up so we could put it in the back of their car. And it was a woman who looked like a crackhead who was wearing like a one piece skirt, like the skirts that go over your shoulders and then hang down. Um, which I assume are supposed to hang down past your knees. However, uh, what's the best way I can put this? Uh, her pussy was hanging out. <laughs> it's only fitting that I'm driving the Pornhub car. Like, her literal giner was just hanging out, and there was no underwear. And I was like, she's definitely a crackhead. She has fucking sores on her legs. Like, the second I saw, I looked away. I'm like, here, ma'am, here, here's your dresser. See ya. Bye. But on the way out the door, um, when my coworker was like, hey, can you help me with this? He's like, you're going to want to see this. <laughs> and I'm like, once I got back in, I'm like, why do you do this to me? <laughs> okay, we're on our last lap. Got a little bit to go. Um... Got to yup ya around these turns. Actually, we have less to do than what I thought we had. But we still have two more races with ten laps. Um, luckily, this track's not that long. I mean, we were on uh, lap six when I was uh, telling my Goodwill story. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. We did already win our... Um, car today because I was testing this out on the Nürburgring so we are definitely not getting a car today it was a BMW M4 so I'm not too I, I wanted to get something better but that's what I ended up getting stuck with um, okay I didn't think it was gonna let me continue and yes if anyone's wondering my rims are a different color than the orange on the Pornhub logo um, that was because I wanted to take a picture of it um, and, like, take it outside and make sure the colors look the same outside as they did inside. Um, because in the studio, when you're working on the cars, the colors are usually... They look brighter than what they are when you take them outside. Um, but I do want to go back and just... I don't know if I'm going to just delete the whole decal thing or just keep it. Um... I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to end up doing with it. Um, because uh, I really don't... I mean, it's different. <laughs> but I wanted... Uh, like, I looked through all, literally all of the decals they had. And the only ones that stuck out at all were the Castrol ones. Um, and the Mobile One uh, ones. But there, there just aren't any decals that I like on like these type of cars normally and I didn't want to keep the stock one and it's raining cool at least I have soft tires I don't actually know if it let me keep soft tires on or not because there's a lot of races where they're like you have to have um, racing soft or, or not racing soft racing medium or lower and these did not grip at all I just hydroplaned all the way around that turn. Maybe I gotta warm these bad Larrys up. Come on, guys. 
Go on, Cletus. Oh yeah, this is the fucking... This is my least favorite track, I think, in the entire game. The, uh... What the hell is it called? The Red Bull Ring. I just don't care for it. I mean, it's more for fast cars. But especially, like, yeah. It's for fast cars, so let's add it in the rain. Where my car is way faster than any of these other cars. Which it is. Um... On that last race, I was getting, uh, not I, they were getting blue flags to let me pass them. Like, I lapped, I think, everyone. Jesus, this rain's killing me. Okay, we only got a little bit left to go. Um, I realized why these tires fucking blow, or is because they changed them on me. Don't you fucking even think about it, bitch. Thinking you're gonna pass me? God, that was ungodly difficult because they switched my um, racing soft tires to intermediate medium. So they were absolute horse shit. I don't know why they wouldn't go with um, rain. <laughs> Let me see what, uh, yeah. They went with intermediate. Why wouldn't they do heavy wet? What is intermediate even for? They're like, you, you gotta use the, the intermediate ones because otherwise you're gonna have it too easy. And I was like, holy fuck. Like, it just, it would slide constantly and I ended up having to turn up my uh, traction control to like five, which is way higher than I normally have it. Um, but it was, every time you touch the gas, your wheels would spin, you go around, turns weird. I was actually worrying about pausing it, just so I could, uh, quit listening to music and then go back to talking. Because what I'll do is I'll do, like, two laps, then I will pause the game, put music on, until I'm on the last lap. That way I can, like, commentate and stuff, and cut out all the, the middle boring shit. Um, at least this one doesn't look like it's going to be raining. Um, I would... What tires did they put on, though? We still have intermediate. I gotta leave this. We need to put on the actual, like, the legit tires that you should have. Um, I mean, I could do racing medium or racing hard on here. Um, I would normally use medium or hard if there's tire wear on, but I'll just use soft because there's no tire wear yet. Um, those are like in the later um, race challenges, I guess, where you have actual tire wear on, because I don't think you can turn it on right now. Um, mostly because the races are so short that you don't run out of gas or need to change your tires over the course of the entire race. If so, I would have had both on since the beginning. Yeah, the, this feels so much But It feels so much more planted now. It feels like not a piece of shit. Uh, this is one of those newer tracks they added. I also don't care for this track, but I mean, it's not bad. I feel like it's in reverse though right now. It might be, it might not be. I have no idea. I don't know this enough. Um, really, Laguna Seca, um, the Nürburgring, and Le Mans are the only tracks I know. Um, like, if I'm going around a turn, I'm like, oh, this is coming up, this is coming up. Even though I went through the series and did every track in the game... Um, oh, there's another. I know Dragon Trail a bit. I like that one a little bit, too. Uh, but I don't like if it's, like, reversed or anything. I don't even know if they reverse it on this game. Um, but I know it from past games, and I know it from, like, uh, rip-off games. I have a game called DT Racer for PlayStation 2 that they, like... I don't even remember if the cars have the real names, but I know that there's a Viper on there. Um... 
I don't even know if they call it a Viper, but I think it's like all generic shit. And that one, I used to use a uh, racing wheel for it. Um, which, I don't even have that racing wheel anymore. I threw it out a little while ago because it was, there was something wrong with the terminals. There was no wires touching anymore. So I cut the shit out of it and I tried uh, making another one. I have no idea. Okay, on our final straight, we're like 10 feet away from the line at this point. <laughs> I uh, I may have lost track of uh, where I was, but we won. That's all that matters. Um, that one was way easier than the last race we did. That one in the rain kicks your ass. However, what I think I might do... Um, because, let me go find it. So we finished that. So next episode of this, unless there's an update, um, we are going to do, what is it? Vision Gran Turismo Trophy. Which means it's going to be all Gran Turismo versions of cars. Which, uh... I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think I like any of these. I have the VG... Yeah, the VGT. That's very specific. There's only one car here with VGT in the name. Because, you know, that... The Bugatti. The, um... What is... This isn't the Veyron. This is the Bugatti... What is it? The Chiron? The Chiron VGT version. Um... I'm going to have to look through... These are all going to be like a million plus dollars... And I, the problem, what I might do, what I might do is I might, shit, no, I not, I, I won't shit, but what I, okay, let me explain it. I'll show you and explain. The car I really, like the, the car in this game that I really, really, really want <clears throat> it's a Shelby Daytona, um, which is right here. Come on. Show me the money. Right here. The Daytona. It's 15 million. I'm almost at 11 million. So what I might do is just grind the game until I can get this car. Because this is... It's not the only 15 million dollar car I want. But it took me a long time to get close to enough money to get this. So what I'm going to do is once I can get this car, I'm going to get it. Um, that is up there with uh, all my other dream cars. I know this one's like one million, which isn't too bad um, considering this game. I want to get this too, but I want to get the Daytona before... I start spending millions on other cars because I just I just want that car and I'm so close to being able to get it. So I'm going to try to get that and also I saw it looked like there's a racing um uh it, like a nostalgia um thing down here, 1979 nostalgia. And I saw the car right here and I was like, "Ooh, if I get the car before I do this race series, then we'll be set. And it looks like these you make about 200000 a race. Like I did in the last one. No, you make less than those. These ones you made 200000 This you make about one fifty. Honestly, I think if I just finished all the races, like these three, before I get to this, which I would naturally have to anyway, I should have enough money to get that. But the other problem is I have to spend a million. I'm going to have to spend like two, three million to be able to do these. Oh, this one's fucking two laps, dude. These are going to be forever. Um, Nothing really else I can really do. Um, But, yep, that is going to be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed.
And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.